I was, there was, I was one of two females and there was heaps of guys and they got onto the subject of how guys like curves and natural beauty and, oh, you know, yeah. uh, not so much fake boobs and, mm. yeah, right. And now you're telling me the exact opposite, that you love everything fake. <laughs> <laughs> I think guys are just full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So <laughs> we just, they were clearly just telling us what we wanted to hear. It's like some comedian said, if, if, they're, if I can touch those fake boobs, they're real. <laughs> you know, if I can see them, I touch them, they're there real. There are babe. fake ones that so actually real. feel real. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Great times, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> we're living in good times. <laughs> what else have you been up to, Drew? Uh, you know, I don't know. I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that because Why? I have no answer. Like. There's like so many things happening. I've said it to you a million times. I actually love normal work. I love working, right? So I actually lock myself in and do a 40-hour week and all this podcast stuff, all the band stuff is after that. So to answer your question, I don't know. I can't even think. It just feels like the same stuff. Lots of this podcasting, lots of the band stuff and – Dying to get home. My kids are getting bigger. So it's like, oh, my God, I've got paranoia that I need to be home. You know, that I'm missing out stuff. That, you know, so I, I need ha- what? But to answer your question, I need to start something new this year. I've got this feeling of like nothing's happened in all through June, even though plenty has, but nothing is exciting me. Since I feel like, June? Yeah. Oh, no, ja- uh, January. This year has kind of gone. That's because I'm up. not. You know, yeah, where are you? <laughs> are I'm you not doing? around. I've seen you like f- yeah. five times. It's true. We used to work daily together. Yeah, there was a spark. We were sort of yeah, yeah. You know what's going we had on? Stuff what's going, going on, on then? You Drew. can't do that. Tell him to <laughs> blah blah blah. And who said what? Oh, he wants to be on that stage, I, does he? I think I need to move back in. You do. So we can drive each other crazy again. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I, I really mean it. That's what I mean. Where, like it, there was sort of unpredictability about last year that was really cool. And you know, I was only thinking yesterday, I went through all my photos in my phone and there was a photo of me at Broad Beach, the tram line, like the train line. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Just wearing this funny. Titanic's gear, <laughs> right? <laughs> that was Just random. taking a photo, something you organised and it was like the day before. Yeah, True. Yeah. Can you be in this photo shoot for something, you know? You know you're on at- the website. No? Yeah, yeah, you're on their website. Who's? I remember now. Yeah. I'll get you the link. Great. Well, that was that guy, Lee, Lee Kernigan's brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That sort of stuff. Like, that was- Random. That blew my mind. Like, yeah, I'll be there. Got some photo taken with all these other musos and and then it was gone. That feels like it's not happening. Well, right you now. need Cindy Lee back in your life. I do. Hey, did you go to Griffith Uni the other night and do yeah. some record? Can anyone yeah. use that? Very uh, interesting. Maybe I can set it up. It's like if you're What's studying, um, this guy was studying popular music. Right. So he's, okay. he's producing music. So he, in particular, he can do, we're going there on Friday night too to do the same. So he's just an engineer trying to get bands to so record. So he's recording so you he guys. Gets, he gets more, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. more out of it. Yeah. It yeah, was good. The studio was amazing. The kid was amazing. He, to me, he looked like 12 years old, this cool little dude, but he was running us. Like he was running us like a little man, like, you know. I was like, man, this is the greatest thing. Well, he, he can't be 12 if he's at uni. No, but physically he sort of looked right. like a small sort of dude and, and you know, but he was managing it so well and going, man, that's what a great opportunity. Like you have to – where else could you do that, you know? Yeah, it was It was good to, to a see. certain extent. Like, you know, where there was – I've recorded lots, so there was – Lots of little funny issues that make it just like, Oh, my God, we can record Cindy Lee in the band. You should. It should be the theme music. Oh. If you do some uh, advertising or something. Yep. Yes. Okay, it goes like this. Um, It's got to be upbeat, right? So, I'm going to do buskers by the creek. I'm going to come and get you. (laughs) (laughs) That's all right. No, that's just a right. start. That's just a start. Okay, all right. right? Don't, not... don't judge me. <laughs> all right, let's just start one. You go. No, no, we'll leave come it on. at that. We'll leave it at that. I can't. I was trying to be aggressive, you know, like come and come to this, come bust by the creek. We're going to come and break your legs. <laughs> no. No. I'm going to finish this quiet. I can't. I'm not feeling it yet. <laughs> so you have 
You've spoken to a lot of famous people lately, I hear, around the traps. Oh. You were on telly. Did you like my recording of you on telly? Yes. Yes. I, was oh, like, I saw it first. Oh, no. Yes. It was great. Yeah. It was good. Good. Remember we joked, how the hell do we record TV these days? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did anyone else record it? Um, no, but it, you don't need to. I was just Googling it right now. Like I had to send it to oh. someone just now. I and got the naked magician. I Mike know. Uh, yes. I am so excited. Just today. Can Mike I please Teller. come? Because I am like. You want to see his doodle? Well, they're not going to actually do that here, but they might do some magic. Maybe they need their dick for their tricks. Yeah. I can't believe he said yes. Just yeah. goes to show all Good you guy. have to do is ask, right? Good guy. I had to. Um, yeah, just right. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And that, but exactly what I mean, like about this, this podcast show here, like who else will ask them? How did you get their details? I just, uh, just contact <laughs> Mike Tyler, just like that. It Googled. It turns out oh. well, there's two magicians, Mike Tyler and the other guy, I can't remember. And one's from Brisbane. Okay. So I, I when are they make, coming? About the 24th of February. Okay. They're doing a show, Gold Coast Arts Centre, I think, on the 26th of February. So yeah. you don't actually know much about their show, like whether they get fully naked and do... Yeah, they fully do. Right. Fully naked. Yep. Okay. Yep. They do um, full two what guys. What if there's like, f- you know, 10 really hot chicks sitting in the front row? I know. I know. What would you do? <laughs> well, see, it's funny about, funny about dicks, right? If it's like if you're in, uh, you're in normal mode... You're kind of always in protection mode. Like you, <laughs> it'll just disappear like a turtle, right? <laughs> you know? That's a weird way of saying it, right? Yeah, it's like not in your thoughts at all. And you're so just, I can imagine standing butt naked in front of a room full of people, it wouldn't feel sexy. You're not – you're in that mm. protection mode. So that, like they said it in this little article in Blank GC I read that, you know, they hate it when the aircon's too cold because – Protection mode plus aircon is super shrinking. Yeah, right. You know, super shrinkage. And so it's not like the puppetry of the penis dudes who stretch and stretch and stretch and everything's warm and they control the whole whole room. And what I find. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know their show, so I, I can't believe what they're we doing. We were talking about, um, you know, male s- sex services this morning. Yeah. And here we go. We've got like naked male j- magicians. We've got, you know, guys that paint with their cocks. We've got, have you seen? And, you know, I'm the first one to go, why aren't women doing this shit? Right. Have you seen the latest vaginal weightlifting? Have you seen it? I saw the picture. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Was no, that have you a seen video? the video that no. someone uploaded on my page? I didn't see the video. Yeah, yeah. So what she does is she travels the world doing classes on how to weightlift from your vagina. What do they clamp it to? So she's got this like egg that's made out of a stone and there's a um, like a clasp that holds on to um, the I stone. Don't know. Yeah. But she lifts surfboards. She's out on oh, hang Venice. No, no, no. Say, say it again. Is the stone bit, does that go upper? Or yeah, is that it the, goes like, upper. Oh. And so what she's saying is it's, um, well, as soon as she comes out, she's on Venice Beach and she's like lifting a surfboard. With her vagina, no hands attached, and then she's lifting, you name it, tables, bowling balls, really? yeah. And she travels the world doing courses on this shit. So it's not. Cla- I remember there was a chick that did seek. No, 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 not with like, like you know guys. Out the sides. Yeah, 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 and no. you know how there's the the pirate guy that has all the piercings yeah. and he lifts up with the piercings. No, it's actually up her. Wow, doesn't seem too hard then, would it? <laughs> Well, well, you know, How you can hold a baby we... in there. Surely you can keep a rock in there. Or some... Yeah, well, I don't know. I haven't tried it, Drew. Maybe I need to go and fly hey, over and video? do one of the courses. Why not? There you go. How weird. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, there's, there's whole there's people doing completely better things than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's their entire life. Yeah. Is right. exciting. But what? Seriously, exciting, she, is, yeah. she is out there on international, like, television. Yeah. Like, Going, this is what I do. What makes someone wake up one day and go, I'm going to lift a surfboard out of my vagina? (laughs) (laughs) Why surfboard? (laughs) Is she standing on it? That's a good trick. (laughs) Seriously. Think of all the tricks she could do. I need to think what I can do. Holding a surfboard to her feet. 
Yeah. Okay, I've gone too far. Yeah. Yeah, you need to think of some stuff like this. Yeah, I know, right? No tricks. <laughs> Maybe I can what about do the- some more shows at Buskers by the Creek, not just sing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, there's a, I saw a, um, a video of a girl who squirts like um, – it's like an egg that's filled or some some sort of egg that's filled with paint and she'll do painting. She stands above a, a canvas and squeezes this thing inside her and the paint comes out. So she sells these paintings. But she's butt naked for some reason, you know, and she happens much. to have a great body, you know. That's too much. So there's a whole lot to look in the video. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, it's not art. And all the dudes are like, oh, no, it looks like art to me. <laughs> that's of like, course. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean, but there's – that's their their life now is that. Like I was saying about the magicians this morning, they were normal magicians and then they decided on this great concept, yep, we'll be naked. Were they drunk? Maybe. We'll be naked and do some our shows to get people all of a sudden it's a great marketing tool. But it wasn't until they got their photographer to do their first promo shots that they – they realised how freaky it is. Now, now they're going to have to <laughs> be oh, so naked. they've done a show yet. Yeah, they've done heaps of oh, shows. Oh, right. But th- can you understand that? Like, it'd be like you and me going, "Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we're funny. Ha ha ha. We'll do this thing." And then six months down the track, we've been planning this huge marketing thing with all these shows. Now we've got to do some promo photos. Oh my god, time to get naked. Oh my god, in front of that photographer too. This is the moment. This is the moment where you cross over into the, your new yeah. world, your yeah. whole new life. You'll be known as that person. How old are they? Uh, early 20s. Oh, okay. mid, mid. And to be honest, like they're handsome dudes, good, bo- you know, they're, they're not. Uh, well, I'm sure they I'm work I'm sure lots of, lots of chicks go, okay, I'll come watch this show for two reasons, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it must be weird. Well, you'll find all, out all about it when they yeah. get in here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I'll have to be here that day. Yeah. And you'll just need to say, this is Cindy and she needs to have a bit of a rundown on your show. All right. Get your gear off, boys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? What would you think? I don't know. What would you be looking at? Oh, definitely the magic. Right. Yeah. You know, the last time I saw a, um, I was at Indy one year and my mates had uh, – they had a fair bit of money. They lived in Mossman in Sydney. They flew up and got this huge house on Isle of Capri and got uh, three naked girls that served drinks for a few hours, right? And I found myself, maybe we've had this conversation before, I just couldn't look directly because I just couldn't look directly at what she had. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, oh, this is really awkward. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What do other dudes do? Do I just look straight at it? What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Obviously, she knows she's naked. But what is morally Mind. right? Like, am I a pervert if, even if she's there? Are you a pervert for if a whole bunch of dudes just go, wow, look at that. Rah, rah. You know? So when you're watching um, Dick Tricks. Like I said, I'll be looking at the magic. <laughs> what do you call magic? I wonder if it's like puppetry of the penis where they actually do that. And now you are going to, you know, right. rise. Have you seen that show? No. Me either. No. Good documentary though. If you want to see that documentary film, it's good. Yeah, it's You're looking funny. really well. Can I just change the subject? Really? No alcohol in how long? Three weeks. Mm. Really? I don't know how you do that. Me either. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're looking. I can't believe it. You're looking fitter. Great. Your skin's a lot more. Th- you know. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think that's what it is. And and um, my old man actually, old bloke, sixty nine or something. He went to this doctor. He drinks, and he and the doctor said, "Mate, you've got about nine. I'm bullshitting. I'm, I'm making this up. Something like you've got nine liters of of fluid in your. Wow. This is completely wrong. So, it's the numbers are wrong. That's what I'm going to say. You should have six liters, but you've got nine, or you should have four and you've got nine. So you're filled with extra fluid. You should stop. How drinking. do they tell that? Uh, there's some machine, yeah. Okay. And then I spoke to that bodybuilder, Tony Pecci, on this, and he said before they do their shows, they'll only drink 400 mils of water every day. That's it for the wow. last few days because it, it tightens okay. your skin. It gets all the ah. excess fluid out of your face and wherever you hold fat. So it's a, it's a good. Um, Good you know, trick. So instantly I just went, oh, I'll just do less fluid. 
I was going to say you're not like replacing 